far as the whole marriage thing of us, you know, not getting married, like I said. Baby, you know I don't pull out when we love it. Touch it and kiss it and lick it. No one's even your pennies or something now. In my car, in my crib, I'm shining with this gold grip. I can't give a what how you feel. And booty and them tatters on the ground. Take a bite of my blood. What's up, MG Empire? Welcome back and welcome to another mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. As you guys can see, the crabs are finally cooked. It, it was, it took a lot out of me to cook this, but I had, I had help from my mom, as you guys saw. So, are you ready? Many, I never ate crabs. Well, these type of crabs only had clusters. So, um, off camera, I learned on YouTube. You, are? you okay, Kaden? Off camera, mm -hmm. we I learned on YouTube. Kaden! Oh. You're doing that on purpose. <laughs> off camera, I learned how to crack and dismantle these crabs to make them into a cluster <coughs> form i'm going to show manny and yeah we're well, gonna, did. you did you know how to open them mm. all right go ahead let me see how you do it then oh, i'll give you one with legs actually all right there you go okay right, there you go here Just these dudes look. They look creepy. That's why. Like, really, they were alive. They, they were moving. I was scared. Okay. Here goes the bag for you to put the inside. Okay. And I do mine cleaner. Uh, I just don't really eat. I don't really eat crabs. But I mean, I had it back in the, my old, I mean, my old days. It's just that I would prefer crab legs. Yeah, it's just that I would prefer crab legs more than anything. Look at that. I did mine's clean. And then you just. About the insides. And then you gotta do all that. It's like, ah. I know. And then take out the lungs. You have the doo doo by the lungs. It's not doo doo, it's what they last ate. Doo doo. <laughs> Is yours done? I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Like, what do you mean? I, I, okay. You gotta take off the lungs, baby. I ate these one time. No, I mean you can eat them, but it's not like a delic delicacy or anything. Like it nah, doesn't. It it's like, not yeah. the, it's, it's. Ask you guys on Instagram any topics you guys want us to talk about because I didn't want the video to be boring and you guys want us to talk about something while we're eating. So someone said dating for 13 plus years and. Here. All right. Someone said dating for 13 years and the stigma around engagement and marriage for long-term relationships. That's deep. I feel like when you're like dating someone for a certain amount of years, it's like pressure. Oh, when you guys have a baby. Oh, when you guys get married, like type, that type of thing. You agree or no? Pressure by who? You know how friends and people be like, "Oh, how long y'all been together? Oh, when y'all get married? Oh, when y'all have a baby? Like, remember? There used to be at like literally." Talk about every single time when we was with um, Maria and them. 
Oh, when you want your kind of baby, remember? I mean, yeah, but that, that didn't bother me. So I'm like, I guess men don't care about things like that then. I guess more it's like a woman thing. Because men can have kids anytime they want. No, it, like I said, it wasn't really. Never mind, go ahead, I don't want to interrupt. No, I'm. it was your turn. That was the, the answer to that. I was just saying for me, I think, I think there's pressure. That's when I feel like people should like mind their business, not to be mean. That's why I don't ever act like when someone's in a relationship, like when you guys having kids or when you get married, how do you know they're not trying and the woman can't, isn't able and they're having sh struggles because you don't really know that type of stuff. I don't think it's like that. I mean, there is stuff like that because I mean, our friend, I'm not saying any name, but our friend is going through that right now. So that's why people shouldn't act. Man, I'm not saying, I mean, obviously it's like innocent thing. It's not. Mm -mm. It's like, Someone asking you, how is your mom? And your mom passed away. Then you tell them. No, that's passed. different. That's different. Obviously, not going to know. I'm yeah, talking about stuff like, when you guys getting know. When you guys getting married or. I'm thinking, she's thinking. They're just asking a question. I don't know. Yeah. When I was growing up, people found that rude. But now that I'm older, I find that rude. Like. Imagine if we were struggling and it took us years to have a baby. But and people keep asking you, when you having it. a. I mean, yeah, it's, but like I said, it's just that innocent thing. It's like. You just ask no question. I guess. You guys understand me or not? I feel you're on your foot. I feel like you're taking out a proportion. No, I'm not saying that as a. Like, okay, I get it, it's okay to ask. I'm talking about like friends and family that continuously ask. I'm not talking about someone out the blue, like, oh, how's life? When you guys get married, blah, blah. I'm not talking about like those. Um, I have more friends that continuously ask. Are you serious? I feel like I was being asked like every time I met up with friends. When you children have a kid, when you got to having a kid. Really? Not really. Okay. Maybe I was being the one to ask because I can have the baby. Maybe they weren't asking you. I don't know. But I was always continuously asked. Um. Um. Wait, I don't know. But, um. I feel like, I feel like it's like a. Um, like, as time go on, it's like a um, type of pressure, like, dang, like, all these years, when you're going to tie the knot type of thing, people are expecting so much of you, and, you know, and it's like, obviously, you know what's going on in your own relationship, but when someone keeps bringing it up, like, it's like the wonder, like, should I? Should I do this? Should I, you know what I mean? You want another one, Kate? Put your foot down. That's why you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how y'all eat these products. I don't. I already eat the custard. I feel like it's a lot of picking. Obviously, you're eating more of the custard part and like these. I'm not you know? even getting nothing from these. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how they're you not opening it properly. That's you keep throwing legs over here. I'm thinking like, I thought I had eight all my eight How many legs does the crab have? Six, eight? right? No, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But not all of them eight. Okay. So I'm like, I think I'm, I feel like I'm eating more legs than anything. But, right. but anyway. Okay, so, you want to repeat the question? Yes. Yeah. It's a good question. Huh? Dating for 13 years and the stigma around engagement and marriage for long-term relationships. The stigma meaning when you're with someone for a so-and-so time, 
it, at this point you should be married and you should have kids like type, that type of thing and if you're not something's wrong because that's how people always view it for us like oh you guys aren't married yet if he hasn't married by now he don't want you like if a man really wanted to marry you he would have married you by now if you and your partner uh, had a discussion as far as how you plan on getting eloped, then that would be the case. Like far as me and her, I mean, we give you a little background. Bought her a ring. First stage, obviously, when you know someone is the one. I bought them a promise ring. And I never did that for any girl. Um, even took my mom with me to help pick out the ring. So I was like, okay. She was the only person that I introduced to my mother. Okay. Later on, I had to buy another well. I said later on, I had to buy another ring because <laughs> she lost it. But that one was actually the engagement ring. Now, like I said, we could have went. We could have went. To the courthouse, like some people that I know did. But like I said, we discussed having a big wedding. Um, not a, a Kim Kardashian type of wedding, but you know, a nice, a nice wedding as far as, you know, overseas somewhere, inviting family members, etc., etc. That's what we plan on doing. So as far as the whole marriage thing of us, you know, not getting married, like I said, technically we are engaged, but other than that, it's... I mean, that's technically where we're at with this whole marriage thing. Um, so I have a question as far as this whole, well, as far as our situation. Other people, like I said, I don't know about other people's situation, but as far as us, like I said, if y'all have a good communication based on which I want to do, how y'all want to execute it, then yeah. But like I said, for me and her, we had a plan, and that's what we, you know, so far. It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. Um, she hasn't said, hey, you know what, let's just go downtown, etc., etc. There's no meeting here. I'm throwing it away. Okay. Well, I don't, I'm not talking about those. You think, did you eat the tater tots? Are you eating them, Kaden? Like I said, I think he is. No, if you're going to have a discussion on how to execute it, then mm -hmm. that's between y'all. I mean, everybody else. Everybody's gonna have an opinion about something. It is what it is. That's you and your relationship. So, next question. And like, I mean, you didn't. Really, you really didn't answer it, but I didn't. No. I just felt. I said. You just felt like it was peer pressure. Yeah. Okay. Now. What type of answer is that? I don't know. I'm so into these crabs where I can't think. But, um. Like I said, I was speaking on my our situation. Other, like I said, other people that's. Yeah, I feel like. Seven year, eight year, nine year. Okay, I know how to answer now. That's, 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 you know, like I said, if y'all, if y'all had a discussion, or if y'all didn't have a discussion, if y'all didn't have a discussion, then yeah, I could see that could be a little issue, but. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that talks about anything impossible. So, like I said, we talk about everything. We want to have a kid, uh, how we going to get married. Yeah, we wanted to get married before having a kid, but obviously that didn't happen. Because around the time that we had a kid, that's when she wanted to have it. So, 
Yeah. Like I said, we. And then I wanted to. I wanted, cause that was around the time that I wanted to have it, cause our age, that's the age we always discuss, and I wanted a cancer baby, so that was like the time. I didn't even know that, but anyway, go ahead. What, me wanting a cancer baby? I didn't know that. I kept saying that. Dad. But, um, Wait, yeah. You, you just said you want to have it. Mm -mm. I said, At the age. that means no. I said I wanted to have it at the same age my mom did, and the same month my mom had me. Which was October. But I feel like there's a stigma behind it because it's like you've been with someone for so for so many years. It's like you look at somebody and be like, why aren't they married yet? Like what is going on? Like you know what I mean? But then also uh, that's your own preference and your perspective of how society kinda grew up you like, oh, when you want someone or swear money here, this is this is like the protocol or the rules which yeah. you have to do yeah. like get married have kids blah 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 x y and z yeah. and then it's like yeah. when you see yeah. like your friends they've been together for like one or two years and next thing you know they're like married you know i'm like i'm like what the heck you know what i mean because to me you don't really know somebody in that short amount of time because i've been with someone for so long and then also over the years people are continuously like changing you grow you mature you're not the same person you were last year so you're constantly changing but uh, for the most part, obviously, when you love someone, you kind of know they're the one. You know, you don't have to jump into marriage right away, but you kind of know. Now, nothing. We were together very young. I'm not going to get married at 18 or 20 or 22. Like, you're really kind of young. So that's like, what, six years into our relationship already? You can't expect someone so young to get married. Like, obviously, you know... It doesn't matter if you think they're the one or not. It's like a lot of stuff that goes with marriage, like taxes, all that, like everything. I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, obviously we will know when we get married, but I know there's a lot of like serious matters that go behind it. Like you guys are 31, even though it's no kind of different because kind of share bank accounts. We've been sharing bank accounts since after high school. So I don't know when you just see people get married but like oh like you want obviously it's kind of human nature like oh i wish that was me like oh i want that but then you also can't rush into things because then i don't want to rush into something and get something when i had a plan of like how i wanted my marriage and wedding to be and ceremony and all that but some like some like marriage you can't rush i don't believe that you could should rush Like marriage, I feel like you can actually be prepared for. And they're gonna say, "What's the difference from having a baby?" No, if you have a baby, it's, it's never a thing that was a baby. Isn't it's a baby more same. serious than marriage, or no? It's not the same thing. I don't believe. Because they always tell you you're never gonna be prepared for a baby. Because the stuff that you're used to doing, you're gonna have to change it because you're gonna have to put that child first. So, it's different. Which, this is so different from Cause it's like putting your significant other first. I mean, you've already been doing that. Like I said, you know you've already been doing that. Because the marriage is, it's honestly just like you're still doing the same. Especially if, for example, if you've been together for a long time. It's technically the same thing. All you have is just a, a paper certifi a certificate letting the world know that y'all married but technically through our eyes people that's already been together it's like we were already technically married you know what i mean like she told you still sharing bank accounts i mean they don't get no realer than that our phones was one they don't get no realer than that um we probably it's probably People you know now don't even have the same bank account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They only have the same bank account when it comes to funds, but really, not more so how they spend the money. I mean, yeah, more, like more so like when it, they have the same bank account when it comes to like okay, this is how uh, this is for bills. Yeah. 
Because before we was like, um, obviously living on our own and we had our shared bank account. No, 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 no just, but wait, 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 but that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying how the so dynamic changed from it, though. It's just, that's just what I'm saying. It's just a little different. Like, you can, like, organize and, and, and like, okay, all right, we're going to do this. Yeah. And, and then pretty much, like I said, I mean, it's like you'll probably, you'll probably change a little, like, maybe two things. Especially, like I said, for us, if we've been together, since we've been together for all, so long, and now that we get married, it's like, okay, we'll change probably probably two things, maybe like what? three throughout the relationship. And um but other than that it still be the same for how you hang around. Because I mean technically you're marrying you're supposed to be marrying your best friend. You know what I'm saying? So it still be the same thing. My annoying best friend. But far like I said, uh, if you wasn't compared to us having a kid, no, it's not the same. To me, I, I kind of disagree with you. I feel like baby, I feel like marriage and baby, like you're saying babies is more, like which one is more? Because you're already doing that as a couple. As a couple. So you're Sign saying like, for yeah. the significant other first. So if you're, you're already, so, okay. So that makes sense. If you're already doing all those things already, what's like, Shouldn't marriage just be easy just to say I do and get it over with? If you're technically already doing that? Well, I said, for our position, you, you just talk because I mean, marriage is technically a woman's thing, brother. Well, you don't care. It was technically a woman's thing. And we technically just want to, you know, give your woman. Or your significant other that, that, that wedding that they were But it's not mainly the wedding. And like, as time goes on, I don't really care about the wedding, to be honest. As time goes on, but like I said, as I said um, earlier, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, that would be like really nice. But then as time goes on, it's like, obviously women cares more and think more than men. Like, it harbors in the back of my mind, like, you kind of second guess yourself, like, oh, why isn't he? Like, is there something wrong with me? Like, what people say kind of like, oh, he should have been did that by now. Like, you know what I mean? You know, you know, what's in your own relationship. Where it's like that does kind of affect you in a way. When there's more assets involved, like as far as more babies and a house, a home, that's when I feel like marriage is becoming like a business. Like, it, like you know what I mean? That's when you should like tie down for commitment. Cause who's to say if like if it all ends, like then what? There's nothing we can go legally because or 50-50 because of the fact that we're not married. So as time going on and money increases and all that, I think that's when you have to, even though like, I think it would never get to like, that type of point where, but I still feel like it should be type of like, okay, this is my commitment. Cause I'm not going to be having but loads of baby and I'm not married. Just don't feel peer pressure by family and friends, you know? To rush into something like have a baby when you don't want to have one or get married when you're not ready. Like just don't feel pressure. It's okay if you're in a relationship and society views of where you should be in your life right now and you're not there. It don't like don't beat yourself up about it. Cause you know as time go on you're gonna realize like who the heck cares it's gonna not it's not gonna affect you at a certain point in your life no as it did before because i know before when i was younger i cared a lot but as time went on it started to slowly like who am i really doing this for am i doing this for myself or if i'm doing this for other people because as time going who's going to be there to help you with the baby you and your partner or you like, not the people that pressure you into having a baby. Oh. 
That's a good question. Yeah, I said it was deep. <laughs> oh, y'all got me caught. Oh, that, was, that was a good one. I didn't, know to, I didn't really know what the... Kind of gather your thoughts a little bit. Oh, yeah. You guys want to stick to more of these? Obviously, be a little bit more prepared with the question because this was like literally spontaneous. We didn't know we were going to eat crabs today. We didn't know we were going to do a mukbang today. And we didn't know we were going to do a topic. So maybe we'll be like more organized with our thoughts next time. So, you know, it's more collected and not all over the place. So forgive us. We're kind of easing back into mukbangs because it's not really our thing. And now, like with these crabs, it's like this just requires total concentration because sheesh i never done this before so yeah but yeah it will be helpful if you guys just comment questions and topics in this video so when we do our next mukbang we already have it and we already know what we're going to be doing so just do that okay